Hi guys, I'm Catholic artist John McCoy. You're watching the digital and traditional painting process behind my latest commissioned painting entitled St. Jerome. This is a 24 by 36 illustration depicting the saint in his study uh, working on a scriptural text. It's going to be um, an interesting process. We'll start with the digital painting process and then we'll transition into the traditional acrylic on canvas time lapse video painting process. Uh, and then I will comment about, and I'll be talking about the symbolism behind the painting um, and the process behind it as well. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the John McCoy Art YouTube channel. Uh, give us a comment. Tell us what you think of the painting. And feel free to share this on social media. This video will also be on the face John McCoy Art Facebook page. So you can check it out there and share it through that. Thanks, guys. God bless you. As with a lot of my paintings, uh, the light tells the story. The light in St. Jerome comes from the top left and casts down through the composition following key compositional grid lines. And St. Jerome is completely contained with inside this rectangle that is the bookshelf, the bookcase, I mean. And everything is geometrically broken down. What this is meant to portray is that St. Jerome is a system, an entity representing the human mind and the illumination of God's light into the human mind. You'll notice the books on the right of the shelf in the shadow are more discombobulated and going in every which way. But as they get closer to the light, they become organized and vertical. The diversity of colors in the books represents the diversity of thoughts in the human mind, and they become organized and uh, given order by the interior illumination. Now, the interior illumination of God is also represented in Scripture. St. Jerome is seen working on a scriptural translation, and the pages are illuminated by this heavenly light, this upward light that's being that's breaking through into a dark room. In turn, the light from the page is bouncing up onto St. Jerome's face. His face obviously representing his disposition, his character, and being illumined by, illuminated by God's light through Scripture, which is give, which is inspired, the inspired Word of God. And that is the only light in the painting. Now you'll notice on the left of the composition in the shadow above the sandals and the light around the sandals creates the shape of an A, the letter A, and then next to it, the table he's working on creates the shape of an H, and then the seat he's sitting on creates the shape of an A. Now, aha is a perfect word for a scholar coming to a joyous realization about the wisdom of God. And so that's something I wanted to include in the painting. The sandal itself being kicked off and laying in the light um, is the only human element in the painting that breaks that rectangular wall of the mind, which is represented by the bookshelf and St. Jerome within it. Taking off the human convention, throwing off, casting off the human convention into the light of God to be redeemed and reclaimed and returning to a more natural, more divinely inspired state as was represented by the right foot of St. Jerome. You'll also notice the hand of St. Jerome, which is writing, and the hand of St. Jerome, which is stroking his beard. Stroking of the beard, of course, is a classic symbol of wisdom. Um, but you'll notice the direction of the pen is pointing at the same angle down as the finger that's pointing up towards St. Jerome's mind and that is pointed in the opposite direction. Now this duality of directionality in the pointing um, references that St. Jerome is dictating something but God is dictating something in the mind of St. Jerome. So so many small symbols playing in this painting and uh, the, the thoughtful expression on St. Jerome indicates a disposition that the saint has of listening and um, being ready to receive the Word of God. There is also a, an inkwell and the pen 
and of course the book, which are classic symbols of action. Writing is, is a form of action, and literature and books in themselves are a symbol of a mind, a diverse archive of all of the human elements and all of the human pursuits and all of philosophy and the sciences, religion, everything that humanity has written and penned down into little tomes of truth and a diversity. So that organization coming together and of course three shelves, a Trinitarian reference, a very simple composition meant to show the simplicity and wisdom and pursuit of wisdom that is the character, that is the character, the saintly character and disposition of this most beloved saint, Saint Jerome. This is a devotional of Saint Jerome, but also to God's action through Saint Jerome. And to share that is my mission through this painting as a vessel for the Holy Spirit to work through to bring you these um, symbols which kind of bask in the light itself of God's light in whatever humble way that I can. So here is St. Jerome, my version, my take of St. Jerome. Enjoy. God bless you guys. And feel free to share this painting online. Tell others about it. Forward it to other people. Like, comment, subscribe. Engage, talk, and allow the Holy Spirit, as I do, to work through you and to reach others as much as he is reaching your, your depths. God bless you guys.